Hello. <coughs> Hello, folks. Um, let's see here. Um, time to do a little cipher driving. So I need to find something good to do today. Not sure what to work on yet. Hmm, what's the name of it? Oh, wait, I normally have a debug uh, batch files, so I don't have to remember. Okay, cool. Um, what is Well, that's a bit odd. Yeah, what is this? Oh, all the images are somehow off. How did that happen? Alright, well, for some reason it thinks that this is the background, it thinks this is the, sh the, imi the, the ship. Um, yeah, it's got all of the images in the wrong slot. How did that happen? Well, I don't know, but it doesn't matter, because I can just... Uh, uh, to clear out the current manifest and now it looks like we have something to investigate okay boop boop all right so now it's like this that lines up with the covaris background there's the ship and so on okay so what i want to do is now in my data folder i've got a manifest again cuz if you run the game without a manifest it just fills fills the file in right away. So let's see. Yeah, what is that? Oh, is this because of, hmm, <laughs> not sure, not sure, image ID plus plus, okay, so what I need to do is replace all of these like this, maybe, I think that's the right thing to do. Gotta put that there, put that there, and that means I'm gonna have to um, interleave these now, which I don't really mind because it kind of seems like they should be interleaved anyway. Begin folder, image ID there da, da, da.
All right, let's see if that's okay at all. Well, I will have to recreate the manifest first, actually. Bloop. Oh. Okay, I know what this is. All right, so we're mining the manifest up properly, but, but draw image, do image is what it's called. Rendering, hugging, render helper, do image general. convinced that that's spelled correctly, but I'm not convinced it's spelled incorrectly, so I'm going to ignore it. But, um, more important thing, um, mm, ah, right here, it's using the image ID, but that's actually the asset ID, and then I need to get the image ID from it, the same way I did in the font. Um, asset node. Manifest ID is what I called it. Okay, manifest ID. And then from there, I can get the image ID as the node asset ID and plop that in right there. Let's see if that works. Ah, hey! Good deal. So, let me make sure it works again after several runs. So, like, if I delete the manifest, first run works. Up, oh, almost got smashed. All right, second run. Um, yeah, that works. All right, so. Wait a minute, the manifest didn't get created all of a sudden. There's no manifest. Um, oh, you have to have that open to create the manifest. Right, right, right. That's what causes the automatic saving. Okay. Um, bloop. Loop. Okay, so everything is behaving as it should. Um, do, do, do. What is that actually? Why is that? I wonder why it's doing that. got really weird opinions about the dimensions of all of these things. Um, which I was kind of noticing on this one too. Has that always been that way? Don't know why that would be different than this. Alright, let's take a look at what's going on there. So this is the um, hierarchy editor. Um, comes in here to do an image preview image ID 7 GUI make image preview then there's GUI execution ah, I don't like that maybe I'll go 
uh, just little stupid details today. I don't know. Yeah, I probably have to start doing this for um, longer periods of time because uh, I'll never get anywhere at like half an hour, or half an hour every week, or an hour every week, or whatever it ends up being uh, when I sit down to do it. I guess. Um, but anyway. This is just running through other stuff. Do, do, do. I want to see the image preview. Image ID 7, width, height of, width of 400, and height of 220, 22, 22. Why did I do that? Where did height and width come from? I see, I see. Okay, so that seems odd. Get image. Um, shouldn't we go through the asset manifest first? Or are we getting the right node? Oh, that's passing node ID there. That should pass asset ID. Yep. Hierarchy editor, please. All right, well, there's actually two options. Let me go check out exactly everything I do here. GUI, GUI do image preview. Image ID. I don't see any reason why I should um, store the asset ID instead. Um, uh, except that right here. I have to pass the node ID, not the asset ID. Alright, so here we go. That means I need to get an asset node. Well, where is get image coming from? Gonna break this everywhere so that I can distinguish the two. Get image um, by manifest ID.
manifest manifest ID ID um, actually no let's not assert it let's do that as an if okay um, and then what I should do is actually say not implemented to do oh yeah I forgot my to my to do thing is all messed up. I have to go check that out tomorrow when I work on four coder. Anyway, um, uh, return error image never fail, never crash fail. Okay, so. Um, I get that out of the asset ID and then I do that that way. Get image by manifest ID. Image ID out. Oops. There we go. Uh, so if we get to there, give it the image ID. Boop. Image ID. Get image by manifest ID. This here should be if Best ID hierarchy editor line nine oh editor dot h line ninety three manifest ID manifest ID manifest ID manifest ID get image by manifest ID bank manifest manifest ID undeclared manifest huh? manifest memory does that make you happier uh, no image ID how about that Ah, reverse the order of those two. All right, get image by image ID. That's a little bit unkosher. That's why I need to take longer periods of time to work on this. Uh, 
and upload them all at one or upload them spread out as sort of episodes. I'll probably start that in February. Uh, so this will be the last episode I do where I get confused all the time and don't know how everything works or anything. So yeah. Anyway, that has fixed that. So it does seem, uh, it does seem to me like the new um, the the new rendering rule where everything get, goes by manifest ID first uh, appears to be working everywhere. So I think that that is a good place to stop for today. Uh, thanks for following me so far, everyone. Um, there will be more next week. Bye-bye.